Hey guys, can you believe I don't have my own Master Morpher yet? Time to fix that. You'll need a Starlight Studios lens and a Phillips head screwdriver. Take off the Morpher plates first, so screw here and here. Do it carefully, you don't wanna strip the screws. This is the original Tommy release Morpher, not the new one from GameStop. So that's how easily the plates come off. Just two screws, don't need the coin in there. And now you do the same thing to the other side. It's really easy, right? Like it's, it might seem intimidating if you've never done it before and you don't wanna ruin a $60 Morpher. Getting closer now. I think there are just two more screws. Aha. Don't put it on upside down. Looks like it fits. Take the silver screws, put them back in. And put your Morpher plates back on. Put them on the right way, so this, this is the bottom. How easy was that? I don't think that took me two minutes. Perfect. That looks great. I love it. Step one is completed. You've got your new green lens. Okay, well, now you need new coins, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now that I just showed you how fast and easy it was, you probably want these things, which uh, help keep the coins in. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Bruno. And that's why Jerry won't let me use the pressure cooker. All right, I'll do it again. Third time's the charm. I'm not doing this very well. Problem I'm having now is the clips aren't staying up. You gotta make sure these are tight, but you don't wanna strip the screw. Okay, if I put pressure on it, the coin's not coming out but I don't know if I can screw this in any tighter. I'll bet I could fix it with hot glue. Oh, maybe I did it. Maybe I sort of did it. I'm gonna try the glue gun, I'll be back. And I'm back, perfectly good peanut butter sandwich. Oh, the glue gun, I'll be right back. Okay, got the glue gun. The thing I really like about glue guns is you can glue something and it'll pretty much stay there, but you can also peel the glue off if you change your mind. Uh -huh. And you shouldn't be able to see the glue. So it, it's not like it's ugly or anything. Did I do it? I did it! And I got it on the first try! That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, so the original Bandai coin is working. Now let's try a Starlight coin. Let's do, uh, we'll do Zeo Ranger 3, blue. Nothing on the back. Right in the morpher. All right, how about Zeo Ranger 2? It is working. I still say, glunk, if you're gonna be doing, you know, a lot of that, if you're doing like a fan film or just, I don't know, just playing with it, if you're going to a con or anything, I still really recommend the blue stuff. Call it what you want, glunk. Put the glunk in there and it is not coming out. So you can do that all day long and it's gonna stay in there. And it's not gonna ruin the morpher or the coins or anything like that. Here's the Tommy coin. You don't even need that much. A little bit of glunk will do you. Really, if you're gonna use the glunk, you don't even need to transfer the clips from the red lens to the green one, let alone gluing them in. The less you use, the easier it'll be to take off, but it's how many people have seen someone like at a con, they do the morph and the coin goes flying out, right? So how many of you guys found out about the coins from Steven's fan film? Have you guys seen that? What are those? See for yourself. Oh. You ready? What, what? Wait, 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 wait. I'll put a direct link in the video description if you haven't. Once again, the coins and the green morpher lens are from Starlight. They also have gold plates, which I'm kind of thinking about. Direct links in the video description. Speaking of morphers, this is from Books A Million. It's a power morpher tin. What's inside? Oh, did you look at that? Little tiny morphers. Blue, pink, green, red, white, yellow, and black are all included. Those are really cool. They're, they're little pins. You can put them on your shirt or maybe, uh, what do you think? I kind of like that. Yes. You can do them all, actually. But maybe I'll just have one for now. Books a Million, they do have a website. I don't think they're online yet. I think you actually have to go to the physical store, these are $24.95-ish. You guys are interested? <laughs> Do I look pretty now? I could wear a different one every day of the week. Today's January 15th, it's the last day to go to GameStop, buy your $5 bag, and then save 25% on, they say everything that fits in it, technically anything that can touch it or be near the bag, really anything at all outside of games. So as, I think as much legacy stuff as you want, 
All right, last thing before I go, I wanted to share this. Some of you guys might know Julia from seeing her at cons or on YouTube as the pink armored ranger. So just the other day, Julia was at a con in California, an anime con, and her car was set on fire, deliberately. And you're probably thinking that's pretty crazy, but it gets crazier. It was deliberately set by her stalker, which to make it even a little more crazy, was one of the guys in the cosplay group, the Armored Rangers. So her car was entirely destroyed and her insurance isn't gonna cover that. He's in a lot of trouble. He was arrested, they caught the guy that did it. I have to imagine for somebody to do something like that, that there must be, that there's gotta be something kind of off, right? I mean, that's, no, I'm not at all trying to excuse what the guy did. That's just, it, like, it's crazy. I've seen a few comments saying, well, you should have had more insurance. And from somebody that lived in California for 15 plus years, uh, let me tell you, California insurance is very, very expensive. We're on our way to my auto insurance people to see if they'll reduce my auto insurance. I thought I would share the GoFundMe in the video description below. Anybody that can contribute is incredibly awesome, and if you can't, just sharing it even helps. If I can maybe sort of end, though, on a corny but positive note, I will say I have seen in under 24 hours just so much support from Power Ranger fans and cosplayers. It is kind of common to hear people complain about fandoms, but every time there's kind of like a big emergency-ish kind of thing that I'm aware of, I've seen a lot of people actually come together and really support each other. I mean, it's kind of like a big family in a way, which is pretty cool. I, I thought I would point that out as well. I have seen a lot of really supportive comments, a lot of people contributing to the GoFundMe. It's just really nice to see when you see people showing empathy and kindness and just general goodwill towards other people. All right, I'm gonna end here. All sorts of good links in the video description, coins, more for lenses, Steven's fan film, if you wanna help out Julia. Also, this is not a finished Master Morpher. I've still got more stuff coming. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, notifications on, and good night. Lots of good stuff coming.